Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good evening. That's my straw. I just finished my workout. And I just made myself some protein shake. That's what I'm doing. That's a vanilla flavored protein shake. I mix it with blueberries and um, some peaches inside. And yeah, I still have uh, about one and a half hours before I have to go and pick my kids from kindergarten. So I decided to take a sip. Mm, that's good. So I still have an hour before I have to go to the kindergarten to pick my kids up. So I decided to stop over and chit chat with you guys while I fold the laundry. I don't like doing laundry. Doing laundry is the easy part because I have a washing machine. But the part I don't like, or rather the hardest part is folding them, the ones that are supposed to be ironed. So, and I decided when I'm folding the laundry, we could have a bit of a chit chat. How have you guys been? Hope you're doing great, and I hope you're, um, yeah, everything's doing, is going fine by you. So, I decided to stop here today and um, just touch a bit on the, um, uh, how is it called? Ausbildung. Ausbildung, I think in English it's called either vocational training i'm not sure or it's a sort of an attach of or attachment i'm not sure how it's called in english but in german it's called ausbildung so for example let's say you've in this case um it might be because i'm talking about austria in germany it might be different i don't know about germany if you want to know more about Germany, you have to Google about ausbildung in Germany. But in my case, I'm talking about Austria because I'm more familiar with with Austria because I'm staying in Austria. I'm more familiar with the Austrian part of doing things rather than the German side or rather German government of doing things. So I'm going to be talking about Austria. If you're in Germany and it's different there, please don't come at me. It's all about Austria and here in Austria. So let's say, for example, you've, you came as an au pair, you've just done your au pair. And you know, if you've watched my, uh, one of my previous uh, sit on videos, I talked about um, you always have to kind of look for what to do next before your visa completely runs out. For example, you know you're already here in Austria as an au pair. And let's say you already know what step you want to take or so. And mostly for if you want to go to the university here in Austria, of course you have to know Germany. No Germany, no German. And for university, I think they require a minimum of C1. And C1 is they want to be, they're making it C1 because they want to be sure that when you're in class or when, when you're undertaking your studies, you understand everything that is being said by the lecturer. So that's why for, if you want to go to uni or if you want to go, yeah, if you want to go to uni here in Austria, they require a minimum of C1. Googling and looking for places that offer house belong. It's really simple. Just go on. On the internet, Google Ausbildung Plätze in Österreich, and then they're going to give you a list there. And if you're not sure about it, maybe you can try to go to IMS. IMS is a a place where those people who need jobs or yeah, or also Ausbildung and vocational training places. If you're not um, if you're not sure what to do, you go to IMS, and then IMS is going to help you with it. But I'd say it's first, I would actually consider IMS to be the last option. I would first start, or, or yeah, first start Googling, first Google Ausbildung in Österreich or the Ausbildung Plätze in Österreich, and then you're going to get a list of things. And before you even start um, sending applications and stuff, you have to look for the requirements that each Ausbildung Platz Ausbildung yeah Ausbildung Platz for the requirements that they that they that they need. Not all the 
the requirements are the same so you can't uh, just google one place or other one organization and then think that they have the same um they have the same uh, requirements or specifications no you have to google and uh, see each and look what the institution requires for house building but um there are actually several places where you can do your house building you can do your house building in a supermarket you can do your house building in um uh super, grocery store market yeah or in a frisure salon um what's it called frisure salon um frisure. my english is becoming so horrible how's frisure salon uh, i don't know how it's called in english yeah you can do there you can do your house building um to become a makeup artist you can do your house building to um to work with um, in a kindergarten, or you can do your house building uh, in a hospital, or you can do your house building also in um Pflegebereich. How is it Pflegebereich called? Yeah, that Pflegebereich. I think it's where it's where not yeah it's where mostly you work with um, old people in old people homes. So as I said before. Uh, the requirements for house building is you have to have at least a B2 German certificate. That's the first requirement you need to have for if you to be eligible to apply for house building. Others are just simple things, but um, in some house building places, they also require that you have a bit of uh, Erfahrung, 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 a, a bit of. Hey, what's a farum? Yeah, a farum, a farum, a farum. That's not requirements. What's a farum called? I don't even know what's a farum called in English. My English is becoming horrible. A farum. Um. Yeah, that's if they ask you have knowledge. I might say a little bit of knowledge in the. For example, if you want to work as a hairstylist, frisure salon hairstylist. Now, if you want to work as a hairstylist, do you have a bit experience? There it is. Oh my goodness! So the most of these house building uh, places, you want to know if you have experience in this uh, area where you're applying to. It's not a must. That's why I say every organization is different. Some organizations require that you have a bit of experience. Some don't. Um, I would say if you want to apply for, for example, in a supermarket, I don't think they require. You require experience. I don't think so because, yeah, once you go there, they just want to show you how they do the things and how they put the things together, blah, blah, blah. But, for example, if you want to work in, uh, yeah, as a makeup artist, if you want to work, I think, as a nurse, if you want not to work, if you want to do your attachment or uh, practicum or uh, hospital, how is it? Uh, yeah. for I think for nurses, for... The kindergarten for yeah if you want to work as a hairstylist as a makeup artist and yeah this <clears throat> a bit complicated house building places you have to have a bit of experience they are i think more strict if you let's say if you have experience a little bit even um you can get an house building space there that's a those who have experience get um, a higher chance of getting a uh, of getting a house building plot at these organizations. So, let's say for example you um, you only have six more months to work as an au pair, and what do you want to do, or rather, what's your next step? I would suggest for me the sure bet. For an house building space, the really sure, sure bet that's I've never had anybody that I know that applied for this house building place and then they never got um, an opportunity. The surest bet I can think of right now to apply for house building here in Austria is in Pflegebereich. In Pflegebereich, they always, always need people because sometimes you, you, they also... Um, 
look for people in uh, Czechian or they look for people in Romanian or they look for people in in Ungan. Um, yeah, because they have a mangal. Uh, they have a shortage of workers for this um, Pflegebereich. That's, um, I think, mostly Pflegebereich is when you are in um, Altersheim, when you're working with the old people. They always need people there. So that's why I'm saying sometimes they even go to the foreign countries like Poland and Czechia and um, Ungarn to look for people because they always need people in this. So for me, I would say that's uh, a sure bet. If, you're, if you apply for Ausbildung in Pflegebereich, that's a sure bet that you are going to get a place. But I wouldn't just say you just put all your um, all your bet or rather all your applications only in the Pflegebereich. But that's, like I said, that's the surest bet that you can get um, an Ausbildung uh, position. Because... Um, and then when you are applying for the Ausbildung, it's also uh, better to, because as a pair, you already uh, study, I think, a, it because you came as a pair with A1, so you can already study A2, and if possible, B1. Because even the more your German language is uh, upgraded, the higher are your chances, even in this Pflegebereich. And um, yeah, so you have to, there are organizations online, you can just go and Google um uh Pflegebereich Österreich and then you can when you go there you can um yeah they're going to give you a list of organizations that need people I think Caritas in Austria it's mostly Caritas um yeah Caritas just google Caritas Österreich or Car Caritas Austria there you you really they always always need people and I think uh Caritas Volkshilfe and um yeah those are the what is coits also? Those are the th uh, three. Those are the three organizations that um, have a flege bereich where you can do your ausbildung if you want. So, yeah, also for the ausbildung, it's best that you see that you're. Um, by the time you, let's say, you're getting a positive answer, that you've already done your German and upgraded your German. A German language and you already have a certificate at hand. And the good thing about Ausbildung for mostly out is Pflegebereich because once you've uh, Ausbildung I think is only one year. And then after I think when they see you're a good uh, candidate or a good but uh, yeah good candidate with, with your Ausbildung they most of the organizations they offer you they offer you let's say a permanent place. So if you're good at your job and if you're if the organization sees that you're really really uh, hard working and stuff, they offer to extend your ausbildung, your ausbildung there. And um, I think uh, when they extend, they can do it now as Lehr, uh, Lehrling. I don't know how it's called in English. So in Lehrling, if you do one year, you're given you're not you're given a bit of it's not called salary. It's called a bit of pocket money because really with what they pay, you cannot survive here but they offer you depending on the fa uh, first learnings here you get a bit less and then second you get more and then third you also get more and that's it also if you already finished this layer yes this uh, last learning they can offer you a permanent place and one thing to note when you're applying for house building even if you get um Let's say you've already gotten your positive reply. The organization has said, okay, you can come work with us or you can come do your house building here. You have to immediately, they send you the, they, when they send you the papers and the contract, when you sign the, you sign the contract and then you have to immediately go to extend your visa. You can, I think, at least first, um, at least three months before your, your your current visa um expires or rather your permanent um permanent residence so you as soon as you get the papers and all everything that you need from the organization you have to <clears throat> to gather up everything and go to extend your 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 resident permit in vienna i think they it's the mr offices they have several in each uh 
BTEC, they have their MA offices. Here by us, where we, we have, they have, it's called Beha. Uh, Beherde, I think it's called Beherde. Yeah, Beha. Yeah, that's what it's called. You gather your papers and go there. They will require, when you go there, they're going to require a copy of your current residence permit. They're going to require a copy of your passport. They're going to require, you also have to have your original passport there with you, your original or that your current residence permit there with you. They're also going to require your German certificate. You must have passed it, of course. Uh, original and copies of the same. They're going to require passport for, <coughs> sorry, passport photos. Of course, they're going to require also, um, yeah, the contract from the house building. So the place where you you're supposed to do the house building. They're going to require the contract signed by you and signed by the organization we are going to do your house building because of course that's the most important thing you can have every other thing in intact but if you don't have the contract signed by the organization and you then uh they're not going there's no way they're going to extend your um your residence permit so as i've said the contract from the organization and signed by them and you the the bum, 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 bum. yeah your german certificates original and copies your passport original and copies your current residence permit original and copies also and um passport photos and then when you go there they I think are going to also yeah also they're going to require a visa application form or rather a residence permit application form they're going to require it and then yeah i think that's it for the few things i can think of about house building but as i said the best place you can apply for your house building is in pflegebereich and that's yeah you have to have a heart to help people you have to have a heart to work with people for mostly old people because most of them are really just sad they some don't have any more family or rather some have family but the family does not visit so if you want to work in Pflegebereich, you have, yeah, be kind to the old people because, yeah, there are also people don't just apply there because you want to extend your visas. Of course, some do that because they want their visa extended and they don't want to go back to their home country. But I would say, yeah, be nice. Apply there because um, don't just go there and start um, mistreating other people. And, yeah, you're also a person and you don't know what, what life brings around. So, yeah. That's I think the few things I could think of if um regarding house building and um yeah I don't think I've forgotten anything because yeah in Austria yeah it's you can please Google Caritas Österreich Volkshilfe Österreich or the Rotes Kreuz Österreich. You can Google there and then you, you or you can Google uh Ausbildung Caritas or Ausbildung Volkshilfe or a house house way. Ausbildung in Rotes Kreuz. You're going to get all the any open Ausbildung place that is there, and then from there, then you can either call them directly or write them an email or apply directly online for a place. And yeah, you never know. They are, yeah, it can be a lucky day, and they always look for people. So, guys, that's it for my rambling random video for today. Hope it's not much, but it, <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope it helps somebody there who, who's let's say an au pair in Austria or, yeah, wants to come to Austria as au pair. Finished folding the clothes right on time. Or for those who want to come to Austria as au pair and then are thinking of what to do next, the best bet to do after au pair is house building. So guys, that's it for today. I'm going to finish drinking my protein shake and then. Maybe watch a series, a, just a, so, a short series. And then I go and get my kids from kindergarten. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Peace.